Hello everybody, welcome back to the Norwegian 737 project. How you guys doing? It's been a long time since the last video and I'm quite sorry that the hassle with YouTube, the upload speeds, the editing on the, on the computer, all of this combined together is uh, making me quite nauseous when I, whenever I hear the name YouTube. Because having to spend hours of uploading a video, recording a video, this is actually my third or fourth, fourth shoot. Uh, so let's hope I get it perfect this time. I don't have to spend too much time on it. Uh, I do believe since in my last video uh, there's been quite a lot of changes. Let me go just check out and see uh, on YouTube in the last video that I uploaded because I think that's like two two months ago or something, right? And I've had a lot of requests, a lot of comments on my videos and I have all these Facebook followers now uh, kind of crazy about building flight simulators. I got a lot of new young people that wants to get into the hobby and uh, they kind of come come to my channel to ask for um, for uh, tips, tips and, and tricks and stuff. Uh, that's the last video. Hey, hello everybody. There it is. Yeah, I can see it. It was uploaded August 4th, 2013. Oh yeah. Since August 4th, the instructor station we're sending in right now has been completed. Uh, a lot of detailings inside the cockpit has been finally finished. The backlighted has been hardwired to the relay card, both the backlight and the the floodlights. Um, I'm still missing an overhead with a good old um, backlight system in it, and it'll come eventually, but not right now. Um, since Two weeks ago, we went to an, um, what do you can call it, kind of a sponsorship together with uh, Polar Simulations here in Norway. He does all kinds of visual screens, edge blending, uh, things that we basically need for our simulator right now um, to be able to give a 225 degree visual wraparound. Um, so that's going to be pretty neat to see what that, um, what results we can get from their hardware, soft, from their software. Uh, since the last video too, we have moved into a new location. This is a quite a large location we're at right now, and uh, I turned the lights off so you can see a little bit better inside the simulator when we start shooting inside. Um, this is pretty darn big, and we've covered it with um, with uh, carpet on the floor. And there you go with the uh, instructor station from the outside. There's a lot of wiring because everything is still kind of in a beta state all the time. But let's go and see what we can see right now. Let me show you the complete instructor station. I'm going to show shove this chair out of the way. And there we go, guys. This is 1.8 times 3 meters. Have covered in um, carpet, too. Uh, it is pretty darn good. And uh, it lets us have a complete... Uh, control of uh, what is happening inside the cockpit you see it's pretty good you're sitting here you're giving them the weather you're, you're talking on on that sim while you're flying and you're up there and and then uh, guys this is the first time ever i show this on video that is the 225 degree wrap around visual screen finally installed uh, we still have a lot of work left to do on the warping side of the screen to make everything blend together, edges and stiff stuff. Uh, that'll come eventually and I need help from the guys at Polar Simulations to do this correctly. 
This camera looks pretty good, would it not? Uh, with a GoPro camera. We got this uh, yesterday. Let's turn on the battery. See what happens. All right. All right. Where's the battery switch for you guys that know? Let's see. That's uh, is right there. All right. We got the battery. Let's see if we can find the ground power. And you should see some lights. Yay. That is lights coming on when the battery switch. No, the ground power switch turns flips over. Let me. I can go ahead and start the APU too. All right. We want to turn the electric. I just forgot to turn off a lot of shit here yesterday. I see. Um, we can turn those off. 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 See these things. They uh, they all work. And if you get forget to put your altitude in this uh, you're gonna have the uh, the problem light coming on these gauge works there's a lot of dust inside them they all work guys that's the APU came alive and there they are Let's see AP generator flip this over yep Hmm, I don't know if I had those beams running down the side of uh, the sim the last time I shot this video. I'm sorry, it's just way too dark. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, yeah, she's basically up and running. Almost. So, sitting at Garden Moon right now. We could uh, we can fire up the engines. Let's see. We have a little down. Let's put some bleed on right there. Uh, they were left in the wrong position. I did connect the uh, the solenoids for for these switches, but something kind of screws up every time they want to kick back to zero. I have a USB disconnect on the main computer, so I can't really run them. I don't know why. I don't know, I don't know. Oh, the things are in boot up still. Okay, we don't care. Let's lift her. That's the screen that came alive. Do a dual bleed. Let's open the isolation valve and let's flip our number two engine. And we should get our N2 rising. There it is. Pretty neat, guys. But God damn it, I need an overhead with a with a correct backlighting in. running through uh, tests lights all right so we'll flip that switch we don't need the APU anymore packs come in uh, first they bleed from the APU off packs on solution melt auto Do the hydraulics on? Back. All right. So now, if 
we do, let's just do, uh, let's just copy, let's just copy our GPS position. Go back one page, put it in the IRS. Roots, well, I really don't care too much about it. Activate, execute, menu. That's actually the A car system. It kind of works. Let's see if we can get the report. Let's request uh, weather at Echo November. Golf Mike. All right. Let's push send. Yeah, VF VHF in progress. And boop. That's the weather. All right. So the weather at Gardemuen. Da la la la. Variable. QNH one zero one five. So let's put in there Q and H two one zero one five. Let me show you guys a neat little trick. This screen shows one zero one five. That screen still shows ten thirteen. All right. This is a neat little trick. It even works in the real airplane. So I was kind of uh, um, really positively, uh, what do you call it, uh, surprised when I discovered that it actually works on ProSim. Control panel. Flip to both on one. Now they're cloned, and you flip it back to normal. And if you look at the screen down over there, it's got 1015. Yeah, boy, pretty neat. That is pretty neat. All right, so got the airplane. It is uh, started up. We put our flap five. Put in a little bit of flaps. And we could basically take a spin, guys, if you want to. Let's see. I gotta sit my chair. Alright. So, let's go. We don't want to screw around with the FMC too much. We just want to take off and I want to show you guys how this thing works. 014, let's jump up to 6000. Uh, 014. And for the boot up of the screens, let's cheat, go to menu, maintenance, failures, and I'm gonna delete failure and you'll see what happens. Let's see. Delete IRS number one. And delete IRS left. Alright. Let's put on some terrain radar and traffic. Do the same with the other screen. Terrain, traffic. Uh, the zoom is pretty good. We don't want to screw around too much with anything anymore. Let's just go fly, you guys. Let's put the auto throttle arm. I want this course to be 0142. Let's see. All right, let's look for 40% and one. Let's do the handbrake off and move the throttle forward. To a, about a 40 degree N1 and we'll call out stable set and take off thrust now and we're stuttering down the runway it's fucking awesome this is so damn awesome it's unbelievable all right center line center line center line Okay, let's call V1, rotate. That is a positive rate of climb. Gear up. And we're flying, guys. We are flying. Let me bank you guys a little bit to the left. This, this thing really is enough to get you nauseous. It's unbelievable. The feeling you get when flying this thing, wow. All right, let's level off so you can see a little bit of uh, what I see. We got a 10 degree nose up attitude right now. Okay, let me trim it. I'm gonna need to switch hands. All right, let's do some, uh, do some flap up. And uh, let's do our speed to 
30, I think. Yep. Alright, let me trim it. Let me trim it. I got the trim right there. Alright. Okay, so we're flying. Uh, look at this one, I thank you. Unbelievable. Alright, we're kind of in the clouds, so it's hard to see, but I'm gonna try to scoop down underneath the clouds to show you guys. Alright, so there we are. And now we're gonna get an overspeed warning. Oh my god, you guys. Yeah, this is um, this is a new experience, no doubt about it. No doubt about it. It's the altitude hold, speed 230. That is select autopilot on. Alright guys, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna make you guys a little bit more new videos in not too long. Alright, we'll do a full flight video. Uh, you can guys can write down in the comment section where you want us to fly. We'll take a short flight, alright? And uh, follow on Facebook. Uh, normally have pretty fun in there. Uh, we're having, uh, we're doing low, uh, live streams on um, Stream and I post a link on Facebook and people uh, and people seem to enjoy it. So come join and uh, I'll see you guys uh, in the next video. Bye.